The Victorium is sanctioned by the Virginia Boxing Commission with our commissioner, Dave Holland, in attendance. When the action begins, our judges scoring the bout cage side are Brittany Wright, Bill Osterman, and Evan Silverstein. Our position cage side checking on the well-being of the fighters is Matt Hensley. And when the action begins, our referees in charge are Todd McGovern and Scotty Oates. And now, I would like to give a whole hearty thank you and a welcome to the Army National Guard, to all of our veterans currently serving our country, those who have served and carried the flag before us, and those getting ready to serve. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to begin our first fight of the evening. Set to make his way to the cage, Greg Yorkey. My name's Craig C. Machine Yorkey. I'm fighting out of Richmond, Virginia, 1-0. I'm fighting Sam, the street shark here. Really have been anticipating this fight for the past three months. I've been looking to stand in there and bang with him. This is going to be a fun fight for the fans and for us. So, um, representing Left Hook Army, Left Hook Entertainment Incorporated. Here, on my own, got my, my team with me behind me, and I'm, I'm setting ready to go. Craig Yerke comes in to Victorium Episode 2, undefeated as a pro, 1-0. and oh. And he comes from Richmond, Virginia, trains out of Left Hook Army, as he states, also as a promoter himself in his own right. Had a good showing in his first fight, and uh, he's, you know, he's going to be tested tonight in, in his opponent, Sam Yur. Craig can bang, and uh, we're going to see what, what, what the pressure does for him against somebody like Sam Yur. Sam Yur presents nonstop action. He's always pressing, and he's always looking for the knockout or for the submission. Um, and I know that you know Craig's going to be looking for the same thing. It's just that uh, to be quite honest with you, Sam is probably the most experienced of all the fighters Craig's ever gone against. Fighting out of the red corner, Sam Yor. Well, there you just heard the announcement from Sam Yor, but definitely I have to say I was impressed by the likes of Craig Yerke last time with an impressive victory of only 48 seconds. But here, making his way from Virginia Beach, Virginia, like you said, Sam Muir, definitely a well-rounded fighter. And definitely, even though he only had, he has no wins and two defeats, you, le you learn a lot from those defeats. Absolutely. You know, a guy like Sam, and it makes him hungry because, as they say, you want that win column, especially as a pro. And Sam has been chomping at the bit going on several months now, excited about the action against Craig Yerke. I am Sam the Street Shark Ewer, fighting out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, uh, here at Victorium Episode 2. Uh, I'm going to be fighting Craig Yerke, 150 pounds. Uh, I'm a Muay Thai and Sambo fighter. Uh, feel comfortable wherever this fight goes. Uh, looking for a knockout, and uh, that's about it. Y'all take it easy, man. I appreciate it. Sam fought for me before when I owned another organization. He was my 145-pound champion. He went on to do some good things at a couple other organizations. Has not tasted the win column yet, but uh, we're going to see what happens here tonight. And we're going to go ahead and bring up our tail of the tape and get a detailed look at both of these fighters. Again, Sam Yor from Virginia Beach. Craig Yerke from Richmond, Virginia. Both of them weighed in at 155 pounds. Craig Yerke just a little shorter. Looks like Sam Muir decided to go with a different uh, haircut. Looks like he shaved off that green mohawk. Yeah, he actually had that green mohawk when we were doing events called St. Patrick's Day Brawl. And he wanted to be uh, very festive and gave us a green mohawk. And came away the victor that night and walked away with a 145 pound belt. So it was a win-win for everyone that night. We'll give it back up to Shane Graham to make our announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is three rounds in the Victorium Lightweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist standing at five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in at 150 pounds, and his record is a professional and unblemished one. One win, no losses. Representing the Left Hook Army, here is Greg C. Machine Yerke! And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. 
This man is a mixed martial artist standing at five feet, eight inches tall. He weighed in at 150 pounds in his record. Only holds two blemishes. Fighting out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, here is the Street Shark, Sam Yor. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Todd McGovern. We're expecting fast and furious action here. You know the lighter weight divisions. A lot of people get excited about the heavyweights, light heavyweights. Honestly, even when I was fighting at 145, 155, I love the speed and the action of the guys at the 145, 155, even at the 135 divisions. These guys have non-stop cardio, and they are ready to bang from beginning to end. You're absolutely right, Giovanni, and I'm definitely looking forward to, to this matchup. Both men want to come out here and put on a, dis a display for all the fans here at the Victorian. Oh my goodness, Craig Gerke goes down just like that. He kept his chin up a little high, and Sam threw a nice right cross, mounts him. Looks like Craig was a little dazed from that. Definitely in full control. Todd McGovern, oh, looks like Todd McGovern decided to stop that action. Looks like Craig Gerke might be hurt there, keeping his head down. Our referee Todd McGovern's checking on him. Sam obviously extremely excited right now. And with all reasons to be, he got that first win that we were talking about in a decisive victory here in a mere almost 20 seconds. We're going to have to go ahead and pull up a replay and show you all the action that we just witnessed. Here's the entire fight again being in that it was only 21 seconds. Let's look at it all over in its entirety. Comes out, catches him right on the chin, right on the nose with the two-piece, with a good combination. Quick, right on top of his opponent, not give him any chance to breathe. Raining down those rights and lefts. He's looking for it, and he sets up with that hammer fist right to the nose, and big Todd McGovern stops the fight. We're going to take a look at it in slow motion now, give you all a chance to see exactly what happened during this fight. The punches there from Sam Muir raining down with that left, switches to that hammer fist right across the face. And the thud that it made on Craig Yerke's head, and there again, Todd McGovern stops this fight after just a mere 21 seconds. The fight one more time, just because it was so short. Here we go. The pile of blood that came from that man, Craig Gerke, is good to see him up, sitting on his feet, alert and attentive. Again, our physicians ringside, paying full attention to the man. I'm no doctor, but I'm going to go ahead and say he broke his nose there. My counterpart there, you see Giovanni Lim, unfortunately, having to clean up the pile of mess. The excitement there, still on the part of Sam Muir. Definitely an impressive victory for that young man. A well-earned, hard-earned victory. Gets his first win as a professional here in the Victorium. Not seeing Craig Yerke ringside, he must have stepped out and be attended to by our medical team. And now we're going to go to Shane Graham for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Todd McGovern has called a stop to the action at 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Street Shark, Sam They say to the victor goes the spoils, there's one of the prizes 
another photo op. Oh look, Giovanni trying to slide into the to the photo op, and why not? All right. First of all, one more time. Let's give it up for Sam. Come on. You know, not not to take it away from his opponent. You know, things happen. He broke his nose. Things happen, but of course, that's what these guys train for. Sam has fought for me twice before. He was the 145 pound epic champion when he was still an amateur. He's gone pro, he's been pro for a little while now. And uh, he's been dreaming of this uh, fight for a while now. Thank you, Sam, for being part of it. You're always an exciting fighter. Win, lose, or draw. I've always loved having you on my cards. How do you feel right now with such a decisive victory, knowing that you got that win in your corner, and uh, you know you got your family here? What do you got to say to everybody? Uh, I would like to thank you uh, for having me. That meant, uh, that meant everything in the world to me, so thanks for coming and watching. Uh, my family, thank you. Thank you again, uh, my guys, Kurt, Jason for cornering me, Harvey. Thank you guys, you guys, you guys saved me on this one. Uh, thank everybody, I really appreciate this. You know, you, you've always, to me, embodied They think you're hot, Sam, so. Jessica, Haley, and Hannah. Kim, do you think he's pretty hot? All right. So.